Well, good afternoon. It's just gone two o'clock in the afternoon and it's Friday the 16th of November. Today's mode of transport is my trusty Royal Enfield. It's really handy because I can get all sorts of bits and pieces in this huge basket in, in, at the back of the uh, bike. You can see the size of the basket compared to my hand. It's huge. So we'll go down to plot M12, where I've been waiting for the last couple of hours. There's the view over the meadows. Not flooded this time. The last time it was flooded was uh, back in October. Uh, I've done a video on the uh, flooding of the uh, fields adjacent to the allotments. Right, we're just going to turn into M12 now and I'll just give you a little update of what's been going on down here. Right, that is now a little blue shed and in front of the little blue shed is a blue case, a black case sorry, and that black case contained my brand new portable stove which took about four or five weeks to eventually arrive. So I brought down the milk and tea bags and uh, other bits and pieces and uh, went to set everything up for the first time and I forgot the most uh, the thing I needed most and that was the kettle so no cup of tea for me today on the case is my helmet it's unusual because I still wear the old style goggles uh, when I'm riding the Royal Enfield I'll show you inside the shed it's a six foot by four foot shed and as you can see it's full of stuff at the moment Pam my wife came down with me uh, a couple of weeks ago now well, about ten days ago now and uh, tried to tidy up as best as she could uh, she did a good job mind you but it was me that uh, brought all the junk back in after I'd finished working for a couple of hours <laughs> sorry Pam anyway just in front of us here is going to be a little sit down area in front of that picket, picket fence and we're going to have one of those sort of restaurant type benches in this little section just here. In this little section here there's um, alliums, um, tulips, daffodils and narcissus. In this little bed I'm still going to continue having beetroot in this bed and just along this little border here we've got more spring bulbs in this little bed here uh, we're going to have two, two fruit trees and up against the fence we're still going to have uh, munchkin pumpkins uh, which are sort of climbing variety so hopefully they'll do okay in that little uh, position there In this little bed here we've still got spring flowering bulbs, spring bulbs sorry, and uh, just in front of that little bed it looks like narcissus growing just there. In front of this little bed and where the wheelbarrow is in this space here there's going to be a small wildlife farm in this little area just here. In this section here there's going to be um, just on the three foot by eight foot bed and I created this bed this morning which is eight foot times four foot and in between the beds uh, I'm going to sort of level it up better than what it is at the moment and uh, put a um, fabric down, uh, weed suppressing fabric and wood chip uh, so this was the bed I did over the last couple of hours same as this bed, four foot by eight foot, which I did last time I came down, well a time before that because I planted up with um, field beans. And this bed here in the future is going to be butternut squash and courgettes along the front. And as you can see the field beans are doing really well.
yeah, what I'm going to do with this bed in the future, I'm going to sort of uh, put up with it the two beds for the time being, and next year is run a path through the middle of this bed and through the middle of that bed so I can reach round all sides of the beds uh, from the paths. Uh, here you can see the field beans again. In this little area here, once the field beans are finishing uh, next year, uh, I'll be planting up leek. In this section here, some of the onions uh, are showing, uh, red onions and white onions. I can't remember offhand, uh, and I can't get to the tags because of the bed being too too big. Uh, I don't remember, but they are hard necks and soft necks, and garlic in those beds. And there's about three or four garlic coming up in this section as well. This is going to be a potato bed in the future and uh, the last time I came down um, there was no sign of the field being shown but now as you can see they're showing. Oh right in the distance you can probably just about hear them. Can of the geese flying over? What a backdrop. Oh and there's some more coming over now. So we've got field beans in this going to be a future potato bed. In these two small beds here, they're going to be broad beans, which I've uh, started off in the polytunnel in the root trainers uh, back home. I did a video earlier on in the week uh, about uh, what was grown in the polytunnel, and you probably saw, well, you would have saw Lois as well, our little cat, black and white cat. As I said, there's going to be uh, fruit trees in this section and the what's it, uh, the uh, munchkin pumpkins in this section. So I'll quickly show you. There's the shed again. I'll quickly show you M9. Well, I haven't started in M9 yet, as you can see. I keep changing my mind about where I'm going to have things in here. It looks like. Um, I'm going to have uh, a slightly bigger shed um, in this section here and facing the little woods and the fields that lead down to the river in that section there and I was going to have the polytunnel in this section here and uh, I've changed my mind again because it's going to block out the view of this little section So it could be along this fence, or it could be along that fence, we don't know yet. So there could be, uh, well there will be, a um, compost bin area along this section here in M9. So as you can see, I'm, I'm getting there slowly uh, with uh, plot M12, but I'm enjoying coming down here and uh, I try to get down as much as I can and uh, it's very enjoyable, I really like it and uh, as I say, um, I think it's time to go home now and ride on the Royal Enfield, back through the, all the country lanes, through the little villages and back to my little village where I live as well. So okay, I'll say bye for now. Bye.